Hey guys, I am LB, and at the end of the Turing test, I created a poll, of which 14 of you voted in, and with 100% of the votes, you voted for Cube. The other options were Duskers and a story about my uncle, but today we are playing Cube. This is not a blind playthrough, but it has been a very long time since I've seen anyone play this game. And, uh, this is actually the Director's Cut Edition, and I'm not sure how that is different from the original Q, but I guess we're gonna find out. So let's get started. And what if it didn't kill him? With all due respect, your best guess is still just a guess. We need to have faith in the possibility of good. Wait, hold on. His oxygen consumption's going up. I think he's alive. He's conscious. Hey, go steady down there. You've been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. They thought you were dead. If it wasn't for your life suit, you probably would be. Listen, there's been a complication. We can't link it to your POV camera, and it looks like communications are only working one way. You can hear me, I hope, but I can't hear you. That means we don't know how badly you were affected by the transportation. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious psychological damage, especially to your memory. Even a few hours out there in the dark can cause permanent problems. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mission Control are concerned you might have no idea who you are, or why you're in there. If that's true, I have some difficult facts for you. You're a long way from Earth. A very long way. But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, whatever it is, is gonna hit Earth in the next few hours. And if it does, that's the end of everything. You need to decipher and dismantle it from the inside before that happens. I just hope you haven't forgotten how. We all do. Now okay. listen carefully. This is important. The reason why it's me talking to you and not mission control is because you're too far out into deep space. Their signal can't reach you out there, but mine can. I'm Commander Novak. I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. I'm gonna relay everything they tell me, but the bad news is, every time I orbit around the far side of the Earth, I'll move out of radio range. When that happens, you're gonna be on your own for a while. Just stay calm, and keep your head straight until I get back into range. Okay, this is it. I'm orbiting out of range now. I'll be back soon. Just remember what I've told you, and believe it. Okay, so here's the thing, I don't remember any dialogue in any of the playthroughs that I've ever watched of this game, so maybe that changed the director's cut. And here's the thing, there's- there's no- there's no subtitles and controls, there's- there's no way to change key bindings that I can see, so... This game is very light on terms of options. I actually had to edit the configuration files to set the maximum frame rate so that I could record this properly. But yeah, I do not remember that introduction at all that I have no memory of there ever being any dialogue in this game. The version that I saw had purely, uh, puzzles and no story at all. So maybe that's different in Director's Edition, or Director's Cut, or whatever. Also, I have no way to change to FOV, so if that bothers you, I apologize. So let's see. Okay, so that's still the same as I remember. So, now you can understand why I said that, uh, Red Trigger was similar to Cube. Because it's all about extruding blocks. And, uh, I- I did think that they were very similar, but... Obviously, Cube has a lot more effort put into it, and it's also not free. So, if you want to get sort of an idea of what an action puzzle platformer is like, check out Red Trigger, which is free. Or, maybe consider checking this game out. 
that's interesting. My hands go away after a little while, or maybe that's just part of the idle animation. So this does... Ah! So if I pre-compress it, will it just stay that way until I touch it? Ooh, that's cool. Not too happy about the FOV, but we're gonna have to live with it for now. Alright, so I gotta set that one up in advance, because I'm not gonna even try doing it in the air. I'm not too happy about the delay between when I can click. But I do love the art style, it's a really cool look for these... these clean, sterile chambers. It's very different from Portal. And this is the one that, depending on where you activate it from, changes its configuration. So I do remember that, and oh my gosh, let me jump up here please. Oh my gosh, these controls, I don't know what the deal is, but they do not feel very responsive to me right now. Come on, let me shoot, shoot that. But yeah, so, that's an interesting story at the beginning there. Apparently we were sent in here to investigate. When I saw the game originally, I just thought that, you know, we- there was no backstory for how we got here or anything. Achievement unlocked. Quick understanding of block extrusion. Yep, that's- that's what cube stands for, if you were curious. Actually, no, we want to do it this way. Why is it- I don't really like how slow it is to- to do that, where I have to click it. Even if I'm spamming clicking, it just slowly extrudes. Come on. Oh my goodness. Let me jump up, please! I suck at jumping, guys. Do you remember that from Aperture Tag? Well, it's back. I suck at jumping. <laughs> oh man, this is... I'm gonna have to take some time to get used to this. This is not at all <laughs> comfortable controls. And I don't know whose fault it is. Uh, actually, you know, we might want to do it like this, and then... No, like, like that. There we go. I do like that sound effect when you can't do something, but it actually sounds like an interact sound effect and, and less like a, an error sound effect. I guess we'll get used to it though. Is there a sprint? No, there does not seem to be any sort of sprint. Shift and control do not do anything. Yep, I guess it's just WASD and click. changing around me. That was a bit startling. Alright, so what if we did... that. That, that'll probably work. I keep left-clicking instead of right-clicking. <laughs> Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, nope, fell. Gosh, I am so terrible at jumping. I should probably just stand on this curve, right? Ooh, there we go. And then we will stand on this. Retract and extend. And then can we make this jump? Yes we can. Alright then. So so far this is similar to what I remember. But I definitely do not remember the story at the beginning. Achievement unlocked, sector one completed. Uh, well that was weird. I guess that's some sort of loading screen? Why is it just splash white like that? Also, I've, if you've noticed, at the edge of the screen... Like, if you look at the bottom corners of my screen right now, and the, even like the sides, you, you see that? I'm not sure what that is, but it might have to do with my graphic settings. Not much I can do about that. And also, if, there, if, the, if the video feels like it's laggy frame rate a little bit, please let me know. Please tell me, because it's hard to tell. And I do not really know if it is lagging, but it looks like it's fine. Like, the- the live preview in OBS looks fine to me. Oh, this guy... is this a cube? What is this? I guess it's something that I can't directly interact with? What does that do? Ah! So that resets the puzzle. 
That's interesting that this cube started out somewhere else. That is really interesting. How would... I'm thinking about how I would de develop that. Like, so it initially loaded in a different state than what the reset... Oh, no, no, it's because this is where the cube goes when you reset it. Ah, that makes sense. So this one's a different cube, right? Yeah, okay. So that's just the cube's home, and it just happened to start somewhere that wasn't its home. Alright. Yep. For some reason I thought it was, like, something else. Alright. So let's get this cube pushed here, right? What happens if we do this? Ah, clever. I wanted to see that. Come on, let's push the cube on here. And then, we do that, and that makes us a staircase. Perfect. Just for fun, recall the cube. Okay, so this... Do that. Oop, I wasn't quick enough. So, we want to do- oops. Right click. Left click. There we go. And we go up here. Oh, come on. Man, I am so bad at jumping. What is my deal? What is my issue? And then, just for fun. Alright. So, that's interesting, we can actually click through the cube, which I didn't expect. So let's get this guy... Let's get this guy prepped to catch it. There we go. And then drag him, and push him. And then... Where exactly do we want to put him? Where do... we want to put him? I guess we can only put him there. Yep, okay. I guess it'll work. Yep. Ta-da! And then, just for fun, recall the cube. Oh, that- that resets everything else, too. Okay, that's good to know. So it is a puzzle reset, after all. I thought it was just for the cube. Lesson learned. This game loves these slow animations like this. There's so many cool, but slow, transitions in the game. If you're watching at two times speed, it's- it's not so bad, but... Yeah. <laughs> if you watch at one time speed. Name is 919. 919? Yeah, I definitely do not remember that in any of the original videos that I saw of this game. Ooh, here comes the ball rolling. Can we push it with our body? Nope, we go right through it. That's actually very clever. Because if we could push it with our body, that would cause all kinds of issues and... exploits and stuff like that. So, let us... Actually, no, what we want to do is this and that, right? Perfect. And then... What do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? I guess those are just to help us... Uh, oh. So we'll want to do... This, I believe. Yep. And then... We'll have to preset that. And this will help us to push the ball, I guess. There we go. Ta-da! Perfect. And the ball goes in the pit! Ta-da! It's like magic. See, I can think ahead. Another little animation where I don't have control. Achievement unlocked, Sector 2 completed. I think there must be an achievement for every sector in this game, possibly. And among other, other things. I didn't actually look at the achievements. see, what's next? Perhaps... Oh yes, somebody did mention to me 
after I played, uh, the arc maps, somebody mentioned that Cube had this mechanic of rotating parts of the puzzles, and I thought that was cool, because I'd actually forgotten about that. Let's see, what exactly do we want to accomplish here? Oh, okay, I guess that works. Perfect. How much does this rotate each time? Oh. Okay. I thought it would rotate everything, including what I was- oops. Uh... Yeah, let's try that again, please. Oh, goodness. Maybe I should stand on it first. There we go. And then we can rotate it. That is nice how it rotates the player as well. Of course, it's not very hard to do, but it is slightly harder than not rotating the player. Alright, so this does that. Which is that guy there. So we'll want to do... this. Kinda. And... And then we'll do that. And then this. And that should... should solve the problem. Yep. And then we can just do this. Oh, but... How do we get up? Hmm... Cause I can't just climb up here, right? I must be... I wonder... Does this shoot me high enough to hit that back wall there? Yes, okay, so that's the trick. Not sure why I did this guy the long way around, but whatever. Let's, uh, compress him. And then we drop ourselves onto it. Ta-da! Fixed it. Or, solved it, or whatever. this is getting to you. I've been speaking with Mission Control. They're worried about you. Because your radio's out, we don't know if you've lost your memory or not. If you have, it could... it could be bad for the mission. One of the methods they use to bring back memories for amnesiac patients is to talk to them about important events in their lives. So, before you left, you wrote yourself a letter. Just in case. It's a letter to you about you. Mission Control gave me a transcript. We think it's for the best that I read some of it to you. It's interesting that I can look okay. further well, up and down. You're married. You have no children. You live in Colorado Springs, but you got married in Iceland. That's nice. You... Damn. I'm orbiting out of range. I'll read more if you're still there. So yeah, we can look up... Instead of just being restricted to looking straight up and straight down, we can actually look a little bit further. And I always like when games do that. I hate when games don't allow you to look directly up or down. That annoys me to no end. I don't care if it's unrealistic that I can't see my feet or something, or that most people don't crane their head and heads back this much, but... I like it a lot more. Also, is that weird black space? between the blocks. I think that's actually out of bounds right there. That looks really weird, actually. Alright, well, let's get going. Maybe we can solve this before the end of the episode. Actually... No, let's make- let's make this... whatever length episode you see right now in the video. I- I will decide... in this video how long to make the episodes, and you already know how long the episode is. Alright. 
I wonder, did these also get reset? Yes, they do. What about this? If I rotate this, will this reset it? Yes. That's interesting, while it's rotating, I can't use the button. Okay, so first things first, I think we want to do... ...something like this, right? There we go. And perhaps... What would we want to do after that? I guess we could just ride the block over here, right? Yeah, it looks like it'll work. Alright. Simple enough. Okay, so this is where a ball would drop, I assume, right? Interesting. And then we just want to get it up there, right? Yep. And so we can't actually go through these holes anyway. Well, I mean, like, even if we were the right size, we can't go through the holes. Why is it still going that direction? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because we can just do this. Actually, we want to do it, uh, more like this way. And then, we can do this way, and just raise it into the hole. And then this... Ooh... Let's try this one more time. I'm sure it's not the intended solution, but it might... might work. Hey, it worked! And then... What do we want to accomplish here? So if we do this, right? Will this accomplish what I want it to accomplish? Oh, I didn't move the right guy correctly. Let's let's try that again. Then move this guy back up, and then move this. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Then, we just push him up into the hole. Ta-da! I know what I'm doing. Oh, and that was everything. Cool stuff. <laughs> I like that. Achievement unlocked Sector 3 completed. So these progress indicators are, uh, there's like, there's more than one. And you know, in the Turing test, I never noticed it, but the Can monitors... <coughs> what the? It's, all a test. it's all a test. Well, yeah. 
But yeah, I was gonna say, uh, I didn't notice in the Turing test until I saw other people's playthroughs that... The walkthroughs... what is this? Not the walkthroughs, the, uh, the monitors show your progress through the game, and I never noticed that. I actually do not know... what this is about. Huh. I guess we're gonna find out, right? Oh, it changes the color! Ah. So then... Okay, so then to get it to pass through the red, we just do this. That felt weird. <laughs> okay, so now... We wanna... Fix it. There we go. Perfect timing. And that's everything. Cool. I love these cool little transition animations. Completely pointless, but they- they just give a cool atmosphere to the game. do we want to have this oriented? Very curious. Ball drops... here-ish. What happens if we don't color it? It stays white, right? And doesn't go into any of those pits? If you color it twice, does it add the colors together or just replace the colors? These are questions that I want answered. I guess there is one way to find out. Oh, well, that was... completely manhandled. Mishandled, not manhandled. Hey, they do add together! Oh my goodness, that makes me very happy! Because the first-person puzzle platformer that I've been writing five pages of notes and ideas about for months now uses additive RGB colors, just like this. Actually, I think it's four pages and I've just only now gotten to the fifth page after all these months. Okay, so that would make it green, right? So what we would really want to do is the same thing. And then it just sorts itself out, apparently. Maybe? Okay, well maybe we need to make that a little bit longer then. Yep, it seems to gravitate towards the center, which is interesting. Oh, well, I shouldn't have done that, whatever. <laughs> Let's try again. I was trying to click on the ball, but obviously that doesn't exactly do what you think it would. Okay, now we just gotta leave it alone. And it'll just go into blue on its own, I assume. Yep. There is blue done. And then... I'm assuming... Oh, why did I do that? Okay, well, I guess that's one way to do it. I guess we're doing red this time! <laughs> I was trying to do yellow, actually. Ah, so it waits to finish rotating. Oop, 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 I didn't- I missed it. Come on. So it waits to finish rotating before launching anything. That's good to know. And then... There we go. We are done. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. If you enjoy this video, there's a couple buttons below it. You know what to do. Goodbye!